In this tutorial, we're going to look at importing photos into Capture One for iPad. We're going to do that from a memory card. There are other ways to import your photos too, uh, but let's start with that. So you can see I have a card reader here. So I'm going to connect this directly to my iPad. And then you'll see a dialog pop up asking you to browse. So let's go ahead and do that. The contents of the memory card will be displayed by date, as you can see here above each uh, of these blocks of photos. But I'm going to go ahead and tap Select All, and you can see now that's changed to Import. So let's go ahead and import all of those photos. Now, depending on the speed of your card reader, the speed of the card itself, and of course how many pictures you have on the card, will determine how long it takes uh, to do that import. So that's finished now, just under 70 pictures imported. And then you'll see this gallery view again of your photos organized by date, like so. Now, if I'd like to see these a little bit bigger or smaller, I can just use a pinch gesture. There we go, now they're smaller or expand out to make them a bit larger. Double tapping on any of those pictures will bring them into Capture One's main editing space. And over on the left hand side, we have our different uh, tool categories. More on those later. But what we're going to focus on for this tutorial is just making a quick selection and dropping those into an album. So underneath my star ratings, I have the ability to add a color tag. A couple of gestures when you're tagging or adding star ratings that might be useful is first of all double tap to 100% so I can see now this looks good focus wise so I'm going to mark that as a green tag. I can either swipe over to my next picture or I can swipe on the browser at the bottom and I can also tap the picture if I want to quickly assess the difference between two similar pictures. So let's mark that one green as well. I'll pick a few others, so let's take uh, one of those. Uh, let's also grab this one. And finally, we'll take one of the church here as well. So now I've got a number of pictures marked green, uh, which I'd like to filter down. So over here in the top left-hand corner, if I tap on this icon here, let's filter to green. So now I can just see my selection. If I go back, to my gallery view, you can see the photos presented here as well. Now let's get those into an album so it's easier for me to find them and begin editing. So I'm going to select all of them. Again, you can see underneath this now says select all. And let's add them to an album. Now I don't have any albums created at the moment, so let's make a new one and I'll call this Iceland selects like so and create that album and say add. Then those photos are added to this album as you can see. As I mentioned earlier, there's a couple of other ways that you can import into the iPad. So let's take a look at those. So again, over here on the left hand side, if I wanted to import from the photos already present on my iPad, I could tap here and then import those. Equally, if you want to import from your file system, you can do so. That could be from your iCloud drive, for example, or if even if you have a connected hard drive, it will show up here, or other services like Dropbox, as an example. So it's not restricted just to importing from memory card. Uh, you can import from all those other sources as well. So let's uh, go ahead and start to edit some photos, which you'll find in the next tutorial. 